So I think, you know, we'll be focusing on eosinophilic esophagitis today, and this is a chronic allergic disease of the esophagus. And in some ways, you can think a little bit of it, uh, think of it a little bit as asthma of the esophagus or eczema of the esophagus. Um, and what happens is, is that in this condition, um, a type of cell called eosinophils, which are a normal kind of white blood cell in the body, infiltrate into the esophagus abnormally, typically responding to an allergy um, stimulation, whether it's a food allergy, which it is in the majority of cases, or an environmental allergy. Uh, and when those cells are there in the esophagus, it's a place where they shouldn't be. There are no eosinophils normally in the esophagus. And then what happens is they have a number of um, chemicals and inflammatory factors that get released into the esophagus that cause quite a great deal of irritation and inflammation. And then over time, uh, they can cause esophageal damage with this progression to scarring or fibrosis of the esophagus. So what we see is that the symptoms often are dependent on the um, age uh, of the patient and also on the duration of how long this disease has been present and um, active kind of at a subclinical level. Um, in, in children, uh, symptoms tend to be pretty nonspecific. So you might have uh, in very little um, you know, kids, infants, and toddlers, failure to thrive or difficulty eating, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting. As kids get a little older, you see regurgitation or heartburn or chest pain. And then into their um, adolescent years and into adulthood, dysphagia or trouble swallowing becomes the predominant symptom. Uh, and this is when you swallow and food actually will get stuck or go down slowly in the esophagus. And what happens is sometimes these symptoms can be subtle or could be attributed to other conditions. And so many times, um, particularly if they're intermittent, they may be uh, ignored or with the trouble swallowing, they may be attributed to just, oh, I'm taking too big of a bite or that piece of food was dry or I'm eating too fast. Um, and then it's, it takes quite a while for the condition to actually get diagnosed. Um, and so that, that's sort of the, uh, the general presentation. 